Welcome to One Class Live Stream. This is Chang, C H A N G, and today we're going to cover some of the more popular asked math problems on One Class. So let us get started. All right, let's see what is our first question. So our first question today is asking us what do brackets mean in math. So for our first question, we're talking about brackets. Off the top of my head, there are two main ways that brackets are used. The first way is just to, uh, let's just say way number one, is to group terms together. Group terms together for the order of operation. Group terms together for the order of operation. For instance, uh, we might want to group. So for her instance, if you have an expression that looks like uh, 3 divided by 6 uh, multiplied by 2, in those cases, um, if you're following the order of operation, you would try to calculate 3 divided by 6 over here. However, if you put a brackets around the 6 times 2, then you have to calculate the expression that are in the brackets. So in this case, it's, you actually have to calculate 6 times 2 first, and then 3 divide by um, 12, which is the result of 6 times 2. So this is the first use of the brackets. And for this um, use, you actually have three main types of brackets. You have three main types. Three main types and they are the round brackets, the square brackets, and the curly brackets. Also I'm kind of assuming that the brackets are talking about round brackets in general because there are a lot of uses of brackets in math but I'm just going to talk about the mo two of the most common ones. So the, all those brackets they, they actually just have the same function which is grouping together um, terms for the order of operation, uh, except for, for example, when you have a really complicated expression. So for example, if the three times two divided by six minus one multiplied by seven um, plus 19, in those cases, if you're just using the round brackets everywhere, so like if you're only using round brackets everywhere, it might seem a little messy. This is where the square brackets come in. So basically, um, as, as a kind of like a proper form, the round brackets should be the innermost brackets and the square brackets should be the next up and then it's the curly brackets. So basically they're just saying that in this case you're just trying to calculate um, the, the operations in the innermost brackets and then you go out one layer so to the next layer of brackets and then you go out to the, to, to the next layer and then you have calculate it based on the, or, um, the rule of the order of operation. So in this case, you would go to the innermost brackets, which is, which is um, 7 plus 19, and this is 26. Then you go up to the next level of brackets, which is 1 times 26, which is still 26. And then you go up to the next level of brackets, and it's 2 minus 26, which is negative 24, and you have just calculate it normally. So yeah, this is um, kind of the first use of the brackets. And the second one of the really common use of brackets is just you use brackets instead of uh, multiplication sign. Use brackets instead of instead of so sometimes you would have seven three times seven uh, times five uh, x minus 2 times 18x plus 3. So sometimes you, instead of writing the um, expressions like this, we would just uh, eliminate the multiplication sign because a lot of multiplication sign grouped together might look a little messy. It's not as clean 
as where you just use the brackets notation instead of multiplication sign, and you try to write the expression like so. This looks much cleaner. The expression in blue looks much cleaner than the expression in black up there. So yes, another really common use of brackets in mathematics is that um, people or mathematicians, or pe just people who does mathematics, they use brackets instead of the multiplication sign for um, for like a more clean notation. So yes, these are kind of the two of the main ways of using brackets uh, that we're going to cover. Let's look at the sample solution over here. Um, yes, they just said, they just only mentioned the first use, but I guess this is definitely a valid use. So I'll just say the solution is correct. Might be better to add one or two more uses, such as such as um, the usage of brackets instead of multiplication sign, etc. Cool. So this is just the comment I'm going to give, and I'll say solution is correct because it wasn't wrong to just mention that brackets. Thank you.